something done. Here to debate, Republican strategist, author of the book, Fire Them Now, Philip Stutz, and Fox News contributor, and my friend, Jessica Tarlow. Hey. Welcome. Right. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with you, Jessica. Obama... Uh, was offering a temporary status, right. um, and it was un an unconstitutional um, uh, 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 offering that he was. He was so uh, some say, yeah. yes. <laughs> um, President Trump's offering citizenship to three times the number of the mm -hmm. of the people. So, what's going on? Isn't he right that he tr Trump is the champion of these DACA recipients? He isn't right about that, but I would say this is one of the only times where I think both sides are correct about it. Both of those tweets, I think, were accurate. The president is offering a deal, 1.8 million, which is actually upsetting to a lot of hardline immigration activists who thought that he was the guy that was going to get the 11 million out of here and their kids. So there's that. And then on Pelosi's side, they could support one of the bipartisan deals. He's been, you know, really stuck to those four pillars that he has. And I think the Democrats' problem now is that $25 billion for the wall is what's sticking in their craw about it. And they're looking ahead and thinking, we have the midterms coming. The tax reform proposal is getting more and more popular. We've got to make sure that we're running on those right. bread and butter issues. And so we can't shut down the government just about dreamers. So that's interesting because what I'm hearing from you, and you can answer sure. this, Philip, is that the the Democrats maybe hate the wall and hate border security more than they want to help the DACA recipients. Right. Is that and, correct? Right. And what you've seen is, so the Democrats sort of abandoned DACA over the last week because of the whole gun uh, gun debate, right? And here's the thing. The president starts everything from a negotiating position. And he, you know, had the gun debate. He actually outmaneuvered the Democrats by bringing in the families into the White House, uh, by proposing gun control measures. And they were backed into a corner. And then before they could do anything, he started talking about DACA again. And so, and he's got leverage. And so this president, more than anything else, knows how to negotiate. So what he's doing right now is the negotiation. He's got these four pillars that are more important to him than anything else on right. DACA. And so he is, listen, the guy's negotiated billion dollar deals and he negotiated right. with the American people to become president. Which, so is why he is, offered, which is why he offered such a generous deal that actually kind of blew the Democrats away. I mean, right. it was three times the amount. Um, well, certainly that, that, in that sense, I think so. I, I, I would go back to the fact that President Trump's language is always flexible, to your point about being Correct. a deal maker. So he set a wall. It's actually more of a wall system because now we're aware of the fact you can't build a wall over all of the border. It's just physically impossible. So when you're talking about border security, there are many ways to do that. And I think that if he could get behind something like the Gang of Six bill or the Gang of Eight bill, you could get Democrats there. But you're right. It's the wall itself. It has been such a talking point and such a sticking point for Democrats, the language of it, that I think it's really tough for them to get there. Really quick, Philip, we've had uh, dreamers on this show yes. who are frustrated with the Democrats who are saying, they're all talk, they're no action, right. and they want the Democrats to get on, on board with President Trump's plan because it gives them citizenship. That's right, and it, again, is bigger than what the Obama administration had operated. He, but here's the pickle that Democrats are in right now. Uh, we remember back in 2008 on the health care debate and how the Tea Party formed. And if the Democrats negotiate too much, if they go too far, you're going to have, you know, this uprising uh, on, the, on the left. We're already right? seeing it. I mean, right. when you look at people like Dianne Feinstein, are getting challenged by the progressive left, and they're saying, oh, you know, she has a bad record, backs down to Trump. When you look at a record, not true. Um, it's already happening. Yeah, well, that's right. well, we'll see what happens. Um, President Trump's definitely got a deal on the table. <laughs>